It is in this series where we jump in and try and Monday morning quarterback some old footage of Apex to see what we did wrong and if we can spot it, maybe learn from it and basically, you know, say, well, next time do this. I mean, that's kind of the point of Monday morning quarterbacking, but I've never actually tried to do it in a game that, well, I've never actually tried to do it in a game based on, you know, looking at gaming footage. So this is actually something new, not just for you guys, but for me as well, because it's just not something I'm used to doing. As we hop into our first game, I think the last time you saw us, we were um, Seer and Pathy, but now I'm jumping back to Mirage as, well, the daily objective was done. So there's less of a, there's less of a reason for me to want to be Path but at the same time, um, but at the same time, I've not. I'm uh, the most. Uh, how do you put it? I'm not the most competent Mirage. I did play well with Mirage today, and I hope some of my. I think I played better. Played better with Mirage than I did with Pathfinder which isn't necessarily surprising, but at the same time, it is, um, you know, it is a little bit, uh, how do you put it? Positive to see. I think this by far is one of our worst drops. I think we make it into something a little bit better, but what was it? Oh yeah, because we dropped close to the town. I don't like dropping town because we saw about 16 different teams going towards the town. So I turned around and was like, okay, blah, 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 blah. The funny thing is this is, uh, the, around this time is when my teammate was like, do you have a gun? And I'm like, no. He's like, well, what do you, what do you mean you don't have a gun? And I'm like, no, just a grenade. What are we going to do? Run this way. We played it well because again, if you want to know why game audio is gone, if you want to know why I'm, pre-recording this it is because i didn't think to record the audio like like where most of the audio that was recorded is dead audio so instead of just having game sound and occasional noise from me or my partner i decided to record it post and add it in after the fact as opposed to during the game maybe next time it'll be a little bit different but this time at least this is how i thought was the better way to do it and as you can see, we actually have guns now. Or at least I have guns. My partner was able to get some guns at the drop site. But this was beneficial because now we're also avoiding... Um, now we're also avoiding what we saw back there. I still don't know, I still don't know not to pick up a barrel stabilizer because 90% of the guns that I have or 90% of the guns that I use don't use barrel stabilizers. But as I mentioned in the previous one, my teammate prefers sniper weapons. I prefer, well, weapons like I have, which based on what I'm seeing, it looks like the vault and it looks like maybe the alternator. It's a little bit big on the screen for me to be able to tell, or a little bit tiny on the screen for me to be able to tell. Sometimes I could see it, you know, sometimes I could see it excessively clearly, but other times not so much. And of course I do the smart decision. I was heavy picking up explosives, and honestly I think I played a little bit better when I carried less explosives and carried more ammo and just focused on shooting and not tossing the explosive. A little subtle thing that I even noticed when I was playing, because also when we played more complementary players, we went a little further than we did if we were playing the same guy. Because when both of us can do similar stuff, it's harder to say that you're complementing each other when, well, basically, I'm doing what you can do and you're doing what I can do. Here's when we're, you know, taking our time, but I do think we may end up getting into our first fight here very soon. 
And it's a turn of events because I actually do end up landing some shots, I think, if not in this first game, definitely in another game, uh, definitely in one of these games when I play as Mirage because I actually play a little bit smarter than when I played as Pathy. And I know I didn't point it out like I should have and said I was going to when we were going through Pathy. I just was so wrapped up in whatever I was saying that I didn't even notice the game the game because I wanted to catch a clip of a very awkward swing with Pathfinder in the second game of the last recording. But we're we're going up, we noticed that this was uh already looted. You know, I know again my partner was a little bit smarter here because he was running outside and I was running inside. Vice versa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is when we get in a fight. This is when we get in a fight. Is it? No, this is a later fight, I think. Again, I feel like all the all the games mesh together. I feel like all the games mesh together. After a bit, because you think, you know, you think one thing sticks out and then another thing and then it jumps out and it's like, you know, so on and so forth. And it's just a little weird because like you think you remember, oh, here it is. Like you think you remember something from one game and it actually happened in a totally different game from the one that you're actually remembering. Yeah, it is an alternator, by the way. So it's an alternator in a flight, uh, alternator in a vault. I actually tried something different this game. So I was right, actually, because the door did make me remember a fight. But it just wasn't at that door. It was over here. There it is. Bloodhound. The Bloodhound thing. I noticed that... There it is. And I actually hit him. Or I thought I did Maybe I hit him once and, or, or again, maybe I'm thinking about a different fight. I can't remember, to be honest with you. You know, I, I, I can't remember. And again, I'm looking at it in a small screen, so I can't see. Oh, maybe, well, no, I, yeah. This this my point. Is, what I'm saying is this might be where you know, like it still may happen. It just may not have happened yet. And yes, I do like to point it out because fact of the matter is. Oh, and this is well. Fact of the matter is I don't hit people that often. But now to the point I'm making here, it is that I ran away to get a little bit of cover to heal up, and then we start hearing other people pop up, and he points out not to get into a fight, and I just say, well, I'm just scattering around. And I'm not going too far. I'm just looking. Like, I just got out of the open to heal up. I wasn't getting in the... You know what I mean? But also, by the look of it, I... Oh, no. So, yeah. I, I was looking at the wrong thing, I think. I, I mean, outside of playing recently, I went about three months without playing Apex. So, it is a little bit different. Uh, it is still something I got to get used to. As we keep getting hit with freaking teams, you know, we keep getting hit with people here, there, and every which way. And here comes the next set of teams coming for us. We got, you know, we we were doing good, we were doing solid, but, and that's when I said that's where the passive, the, um, what's it called? the uh, doppelganger would come in because it would distract the people and allow you to escape. But that, you know, that's one thing that I'm not as good at as I probably should be, that being using the Legends passive. And I, like I'm doing now, think to use the Legends passive before, I mean, after... Whatever happens, happens where, oh, like, I could have used the passive there, but instead of using the passive and doing it, I think about it after the fact. And we're about to see another uh, 
I don't want to say mistake, miscalculation, I guess, is the better way to put it. Because we weren't aware where the other team was, and I took a second here to drop my teammate a battery because he needed heals, and my mind you, my teammate is far away already. So he basically revived me not and went away within within like snap of the fingers and I took an extra second to drop him the battery had I gotten up and ran and then dropped him the battery then we probably that probably would have been a better way to do it as opposed to how I did it so I wouldn't call it a mistake I would say it was more of a miscalculation because I wasn't aware and I don't think my teammate was aware where the opponents that we were fighting you know the team we were fighting was but I don't know if that was the team that we were fighting that knocked me the first time or another team popped up because the one team that was fighting us was towards the, was towards the left. The other one was opposite side of the big bowl that, we, that I was down next to. And that it, they were like, unless they flanked around the building or came up that side of the building, like, you know, it, it, something doesn't add up about the location of that team. In my opinion. I don't know. That's just my opinion. So I think it is possible because of how many times do you get a, you know, how many times do you actually get a, um, how many times do you actually get a, uh, what's it called? Uh, why can't I think of it? A uh, third party. That's, 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 that's the word I'm trying to think of. A third party. How many times do you actually get a third party? And how many times do you not realize you're getting third party until after you die? I'll tell you, it happens a lot in Apex. A lot more than it probably should in Apex, to be honest with you. But unfortunately, there's nothing you could do with that. Now, I don't remember if I stick with Mirage or if this is when I switch to Octane, but Oh no, so it was either Horizon or Mirage. Horizon is usually my mo uh, my main. I do feel like I'm most comfortable with her and I'm starting to get better with using her passive. It's just the fact that I need to start getting better with using the passive of people that aren't Mirage. I mean, well, Horizon, and remembering to use the passive in a situation like when I'm in a fight because it's supposed to give you the advantage, that's why the passives are there. Like, you know, you get the drop on them. Because they're not expecting you to drop the doppelganger. You know, so it's like you drop the doppelganger, then you dart to the left and you get the flank on him. So you use it as a calculated advantage. But again, like I said in the last one, I don't always tell uh, my teammate when I switch the jump master to them. So this is why, well, it's one of the reasons why, um, it, well, it's one of the reasons why we wait. But the other reason is because we did prefer dropping late and looting and then getting into a fight, like pre preparation. You know, it's like, but we're not Boy Scouts, but in Apex, we seem like one. But um, it does, it has happened where my teammates didn't know I switched and it ended up screwing us. This actually is the same place we dropped in one of the games with Pathy. And... I don't think that the loot is much better this time as it was last time. Oh no, actually it is. That skin on the, what is it, probably the Eva? Yeah. The skin on the Eva actually looks pretty cool, to be honest with you. As you can tell, I don't like sniper weapons. Picked up an Eva and an Eva, an Eva with limited ammo. Oh, I got a winger. Had I kept the winger, had I left the winger there, he would have picked up the winger because much like the 3030, the G7, and other snipers, he has been liking using the winger, so I could have saved that for him because he's actually, you know, if somebody's actually well-versed with a gun, I usually let them have the gun because I am anything but well-versed when it comes to the wingman. I wish I was because you can get hit. You can hit nasty shots with the wingman if you're well versed with the wingman. But I am anything but well versed with the wingman, so I probably should have just given it to my teammate. But I needed an extra weapon, even though 
the weapon of choice that I had being the Evo and the Wingman, not the best. You know, not the best. And here's where I struggled to do here's where I struggled to do the zipline and end up causing my teammate to get a little bit ahead of me. And again, not have him realize um struggling with the zip line because I don't talk enough. And this was when I, you know, this is a problem that I even noticed when I was playing as Bloodhound that I could communicate to my teammates because of what Bloodhound can see that, you know, what I see that if I talked a little bit more, we would have a little bit more of an advantage. But at the time I didn't know that's what Bloodhound would see. You know what I mean? Like I didn't put two and two together. And though now with the optics, I can actually see a little bit better it's still not uh, the ideal optics, I guess you could say. And here's when I'm looking for better weapons because I don't like because I'm aware that I need an upgrade and I don't necessarily like the weapons that I have currently. But my teammate did give me the update on that and whatever was in that pile i almost ran off the side onto the lava and i you know i basically said to my teammate i'm glad i stopped because i would have ran off i would have just kept running i would have just kept running that's just how it is and i thought we were going to go this way then i looked over and i saw the zone and i realized we were running the wrong way with the zone so i turned around and ran back to my teammate when he started going that way. Because he was starting to go that way. You know, not realizing that if I went the way I was going, we would have ran the wrong way. And then... I mean, it's an easy way to look inside. Again, I'm still looking for a better weapon. And that time I wouldn't say that I was going to run off, even though it kind of looked like I was. But also my teammate here is down below and I'm up above. I think this might be when... I oh know, this is when I get some shotgun shells. And run into the Vantage. I believe that's Vantage's ability. Is it not? I didn't run into the actual Vantage. I just ran into the special ability. Let me know down in the comment section below if I'm actually remembering remembering that right. If that is actually Vantage or if that is not. Oh, here's where I switch out the weapons. And it looks like I got an R3. Wait, why did I, I didn't end up with the R3. Why did I, why did I keep the shotgun and the wingman? That is a very bad, very bad combination in my opinion. Because you don't have, you, you have two single fire weapons. You're not really, unless you're going to fire from a distance with the wingman, you're not really, um, helping yourself and it looks like this is when we're in the making haste with the with the zone and now i'm trying to angle myself closer to my teammate so when we both get in the zone i'm not on one side of the map and he's on the other we're both together i'm trying to angle in his direction but as anybody who knows anything about this game knows you run faster if the guns are gone. And I had a bad habit of not putting my guns away when I would needed to when I was needing to run. And that usually caused me to lag behind people because I was running slower than I would be if my guns were in hand. I always look to see if I could take the zip line. I really thought I switched guns at some point. I'm surprised that I haven't yet, to be honest with you. You know, I'm surprised that I haven't yet, to be honest with you. This is where I get caught out of... Like, I tried to go the way I went 
And I still end up getting caught out of the zone. Yes, only for a little bit, but still, I end up getting caught out of the zone. I think my teammate was a little bit in more rough shape than I was, but still. Oh, this is when I switch guns. I don't know why... Honestly, I don't know why I picked the alternator. I just think I feel better with the alternator than I do the bigger guns, even though I probably feel better now with the R9 than I do with the alternator. And I actually end up switching the alternator out for a flatline because I like the flatline. You know, the amount of ignorance I have with this game or the amount of knowledge I have with this game, my partner was like, oh, I'm surprised you like the flatline because of the amount of recoil. And I'm like, I have no idea about that. I just like the gun because it shoots fast. Like, I have no idea about recoil or anything like that. I just like the gun because it shoots fast. But one point that I pointed out here is, or that was pointed out to me here is, when I let go of the decoy, my partner was like, well, that, you know, maybe you shouldn't have done that because that reveals that we're close. And it's like, it, it does, but at the same time, it also gives a distraction to make them think that we're going one way and that they would have to shoot us to know that that isn't us and we can go a different way, which is kind of the point of a decoy. But, you know, who's to say who's right and who's wrong? We're cutting through the tunnel, and that's one of the reasons why he was hesitant with me sending out the decoy because he saw people going through the tunnel as we went through the tunnel or before we hit the tunnel, and now we're expecting people on the other side, which it looks like the town is on the horizon, and you can almost guarantee you're going to find people here at the town, because no matter what time of the game it is, if you're on World's Edge, you're going to find people at the town. Simple as that. We're trying to play defensively and play smart, or at least he is. I really don't know, you know, I find it way too easy to lose my teammates when I'm playing this game and get turned around. You know, I find it way too easy to do that. And now we're... I think we're hesitating going into the town, to be honest with you. I think we're hesitating to go into the town and we're trying to play it a little smarter. But I also think we may... As I almost run off for the third time, well, second time, this, that last time I don't think I was actually going to run off. The first time I was, and that time I was, had I not noticed. But the that middle time I don't think I was because of the barrier. Well, that doesn't help my case now, does it? Yeah, this is when we find somebody who's actually in the town proving my point. That you're going to find people, that you get hit with people that are in the town. And this is what, this is what I should have did in that game with Pathfinder. That instead of pushing into the site, I stayed back, came back up to where we were, let go of another decoy, well, healed up, let go of another decoy, and then we doubled back. I think this is when he kept getting, my teammate kept getting struck by the sniper, and for whatever reason, I could not see the sniper for the life of me. Like anywhere he would get shot at and then I would turn around, go looking to see if I could find the sniper and he would just keep getting shot at and I wouldn't keep getting shot at. It's almost like he was just shooting my teammate and not me. Maybe he thought I was a decoy. Who knows? But I think this might have been the game where he expected us to be followed and turns out we weren't followed. Or maybe, no. Or we ended up being followed. I don't remember. We weren't as followed as he thought we would be, I guess is the best way to put it. Or we weren't followed like he thought we would be. Again, there's no way to know that the team that you're, getting, that you're interacting with... Oh yeah, no, this, this is different. Yeah, this is different. And this is when I say, well, this is the importance... I realize the importance of having a good scope and not the Halo site or the... the yeah, the, the Halo site, because had I had a better sight on my gun, I would have been able to fire, but that's why I don't pick up the wingman, because I hit with the flatline, but I don't hit with the wingman. 
So get a better optic and don't use the gun that you're not comfortable with. Use your primary, not your secondary when you're in a fight. Use your secondary if you have to. Don't use your primary. Uh, don't use your secondary as your go-to. Switch your weapons once you know you're in a fight. But to be fair, there was no way to know. We thought they were on the roof. We didn't know that they fell backwards. Again, I guess, still, I should have had the primary out, not the wingman. To be fair. And this is my teammate. Um, he's whole, I think he's hesitating. He was trying to figure out how to do uh, uh, the heartbeat sensor with with uh, Seer to get a better idea of where the location for people are. But I think he's trying to hesitate. Or he might have been thinking, should I stay or should I go? And I think he should have maybe let somebody come to him. But, I mean, you say that and then you, you know, this isn't Call of Duty. I guess is the best way to put it. He did knock the guy, though. He did knock the guy, though. Unfortunately, I do think that either this guy... Um, I think another team may show up. I could be wrong. But it's you could see he's getting a little bit more comfortable with Seer just by how he's playing this and using Seer's abilities as opposed to just running into the fight and, like, people are here, oh, I gotta get him. You know what I mean? Again, whoever that is, oh, this, this guy had yellow. So, and then somebody popped, yep, I remember. So he was trying to make haste, and he probably, he was trying to make haste because the guy had self-revive, but this was one of the best games we had. And I just want to say, if you're enjoying this content, let me know down in the comment section below, and I will keep putting up content like this, but don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.